Good morning. This is Grumpy Skunk and absolutely nothing important happened in the news yesterday. In Grumpy Skunk world, I'm the president and everyone gets free everything including puppies and kittens and weed. So, we're going to be in that world and I hope you enjoy it. Vote for Grumpy Skunk for queen of the internet. Um, let's go. Let's do this thing. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't remember if I did read all these last episode because it was a lot of reading. Hopefully we'll find something interesting here going on. Where are you going, lady? And gentlemen. Leading F leftover Halloween candy. Mm. Fulcrum Tower. <laughs> When people worry, there's always something they find to help them. Drinking, the trance, even God sometimes. Me, I've got a place I like to go to. It's helped me when I've been troubled in the past. I'm not climbing that. It's sickly enough as it is. It's empty. You are in the mood for a visit to that neighborhood now. In that part of town, there's always restaurants and corporate headquarters. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go here again. Yes, Doctor. Carry on, Corpsman. Corpsman? What a terrible, uh... title. Why did Lies here are moved since your earlier visit to the office? Central West wants someone more skilled than the Corpsman to handle it. Y'all gotta pick up the body, man! Can I go back? Surgical lab. What's that? Lock. What are you eating, Chad? Dr. Santiago must be working on something he doesn't want me seeing. Though you can tolerate Dr. Santiago's opinions, it looks like Dr. Preston's the only one in the office. You'd rather avoid another sermon on the merits of centralized government. Hey, kid. You alright? Clearly he's not. While you question the need for so many cameras within Cell HQ, the waiting room is one of the few places you would never sabotage them. Data package. I can't open it here. Central sees everything, everything in this building. Oh, I can go to the balcony and open it though. Probably. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? What is that? A negative on the aerostat. It's like it just vanished. So I thought I'd better give you a heads up. Do you mind? I was in the middle of something. How did you find me? 
Central told me you'd be here at Fulton Tower. Also, it said, stop turning your traveler off. What a surprise. I like my privacy, though. That's why I come here. You hang around the balconies much? I come up here from time to time. I can see why. It's a great view. Not for someone with a fear of heights, though. Is it a private garden? Max. I... Viksha Regis. Charlie, this is... I'm sorry. I didn't know. You shouldn't. I don't tell anyone. Wow. I know you've got some seriously high up strings you can pull, but I didn't think they'd ever let someone be buried up here. And how the hell can you afford somewhere like this? We were married for four years. I'm sorry it couldn't last. We met in our professions. She was a engineer as well. You didn't have kids? My previous work... Well, it left both of us infertile. We had embryos prepared through IVF, but we never got to use them. I'm really sorry. I remember reading... It was Baxter, wasn't it? Don't push it, Dr. Lau. Sorry. I think I figured out why you went off the grid to come up here tonight. You heard about Baxter, didn't you? They let a monster like that walk. They didn't parole him because they approve of what he did. He's out because he's got skills Central thought would be useful. With a governor jammed in his limbic system, well, he won't be the same man. He can't even imagine hurting anyone again. Even if it were completely true, I know that there is absolutely no way I could forgive him. On the bright side, he'd probably be pretty mad at you too. Well, if he could have thoughts like that anymore without falling over and puking, you put him away, and that counts for something. She isn't buried up here. She was processed, like anyone else. I see. The tree's special, though. I made it myself, from scratch. Planted and grew? No, made. It's a cross of Chrysophyllum canato and Prunus serrata. The junk DNA in every cell of it contains her entire genome. Wow. Takes a lot of looking after. <laughs> but you're doing it for her. Makes it all worth it. I know it's not exactly normal for you to open up, but if you want someone to talk to, I... Central wants us? I'm afraid so. We better get going. You coming? I just need a moment to think, Max. A little privacy? It's why I came up here in the first place. I understand, Charlie. I'll be in the car. I'll see how long I can stall Central. Max. Poor guy. I... Yes? Nothing. That's all right, Charlie. I understand. I'll be in the car. I can't ask for her help in this. I'm not even sure what this is yet. You are alone, as requested? Yes. Now what is this about? 144AD-A, 144AD-B, 144AD-C, 144AD-E. Excuse me? Your stomach lurch as you recognize the image. You know them, you've seen them before, but they you haven't remembered them by number. Whoever is calling you has four embryo containers to your own. What about them? They were removed from the Arasis Medical Center, originally deposited at 1615, on the 11th of November 2065. They have been fertilized by yourself and Dr. Victor Regis. They were frozen at the earliest viable phase of growth. Three are female, and one is male. They were deposited after your fertility treatment proved... Stop! Why are you telling me this? Who are you? And what are you doing with my kid? My embryos. You are about to meet with a contact, Guillaume Vanderwall. In his home is an active memory module of a most unique model. You will secure it for us. Further instructions will follow. And what if I don't? That image could be a sin. Apparently, you need more incentive not to waste my time. <gasps> oh no! He broke the baby. It's gone. Three right. Yeah. Do it quickly. Your legacy is in jeopardy. Come here. Come on. Oh my god, that's awful. Yes, Ty. What's up? A conflict bruising your mind and your heart. Giving in to blackmail like this would be the antithesis of everything you stand for, both as an agent of the law and as a human being. On the other hand, you cannot break yourself to risk the small part of the legacy that you've worked so hard for many years to maintain. To save the lives of our children? 
I think I can accept that. Don't lick my computer. So, despite the incident at Animus, I may have some good news. We might have a break in that string of mind jackings. Vanderwall agreed to talk. I, uh, yeah. How'd you guess? He couldn't hold out forever. What did he say? Didn't want to talk over the... Lao? Central wants a word. That must be weird having someone talk about you, Lao. This isn't just a social call for an update, is it, Central? Doctor Regis, let me ask that to break deal of your time off network. It is for your safety, and that of the citizens that we... Central? All points bulged in, evacuation in progress at Barber's Gate Transit Station. Case officers Regis and Lau assigned to crisis management. What's happening? All case data has been transferred to Dr. Lau. Your vehicle has been rerouted. Please seek an expedient resolution to the situation. Central out. Business like as ever. Let's go see what this is about. Harbourgate Station. Sir, over here! I'm Dr. Regis. This is Dr. Lau. We've been assigned as crisis management. Corpse Mandaria, 4th Network. Has it gotten any worse? Not yet, but we've not heard any words since... Hey, I'm the only one here who hasn't got wire on his head. Central hasn't had the decency to update me. Oh, sorry, Charlie. Well, it's another one, sir. Another what? A, uh, bummer. What do you mean, another one? This is like the fourth this year I know of. Central's been doing its best to keep public awareness down. I guess it doesn't want public panic about it. Or it doesn't want people to think we haven't got it under control. So how do you know about it? I talk to people. I've got a social life, unlike someone. Central marked him when he tripped a chromosome. Central locked down the trains and started an evacuation. It looks like he panicked and holed up in one of them. Anyone in danger? Any hostages? Central's not mentioned any in the case file. That either means there aren't any. Or it doesn't consider them sufficiently important. Probably wants the transit running again more than it cares about human life. Sounds like he was surprised. Didn't have time to take it. He's not thinking in terms of hostages. He was made as a weapon. Bridges? He's a bio -mark. The explosives are made of... They are... Oh, wow. Bones. That's how he tripped a DNA sensor. What's your take on it, Dr. Lau? Honestly, it's looking pretty lousy for him. Doesn't look like he's got any human shields. I doubt an empty transit station was his intended target either. Very astute. Charlie, we, uh, you're not gonna like this. Central's just bumped the priority. It wants the suspect neutralized. What? Oh, wow. Neutralized is a vague term. I'm gonna try talking down. Regis? It sounds like he's hesitating. We may be able to exploit that, but just in case, get the high ground. Fine. You probably know what you're doing. The signal is hope. Don't fire until you hear me say it. Hope. Got it. Keep the public away, and run one more check for bystanders in the station. We can't afford casualties if this goes wrong. Will Central approve of this? We don't have time to wait and find out. Wish me luck. Alright. This is getting interesting. Hello? Who's there? I just want to talk. I'm unarmed, and I'm opening the doors. What do you want, heathen? The sight is distressingly familiar. The brace, the weakened bones, the signs of tampering, and a young man that brings back memories long buried. Seems like the best hope would be to leverage what you know about him and try to find some common ground. Yeah. You sound, you sound like, like you're from, from America. America. Am I right? Yes, Texas, I guess. I guess. Yes, you're right. I thought so. I, I grew, grew up there myself, near Fort Worth. Worth. What, what part do you hail from? Houston. I can remember what it's like out there. It's part of why I came here in the first place. I'm Dr. Regis, by the way. Some folk call me Charlie. Thomas Beckett. Like the saint. Nice to meet you all, Thomas. So, how do you like the city? It's a wretched den of sin, like Sodom or Gomorrah. 
Well, it's not my favorite, but I wouldn't go that far. I take it you're not here as a tourist. I'm here to do my duty and strike a blow for the Lord. Really? We're a long way out from the war here. Whole other continent, in fact. I... yes, I know. But now I'm surrounded, and I must make use of what I have. The fire within me! You don't look well. It's a common side effect of sloppy prenatal genetic engineering. That and having your body lay explosive nitrates in your bones instead of calcium. I don't want your pity. It shows just how little the engineers who made you cared about your health. They made you to walk and to carry a bomb in your bones. Though my body is weak, my spirit is stronger than ever. Good? Zero Standing by. There have been times when I've lost faith, but I can't let this be one of them. I used to work with guys like you a whole lifetime ago. The Lord's Warriors? Something like that. Kids who've been altered, weaponized you. You've grown up with so many health problems. Room since birth for a noble sacrifice. But this... Does this seem like a glorious role you were promised? It is my duty to God to sacrifice myself in an empty transit station thanks to a piece of bad luck. You've been used, manipulated. Your genes were altered before you were even born. You never had a choice. It's a test of my faith. Your parents probably didn't have a choice either. If they didn't agree to do it for religious reasons, well, I know that warlords can find even worse ways to persuade people. They... it... mother and father were always so sad. I couldn't understand it. I was going to do God's will. But if I agreed to go with you, I'd have failed in my duty. I'd just be a prisoner in a strange land. For the Lord hears the needy and does not despise his own people who are prisoners. Psalm 69, verse 33. You're right. Wherever I am, I'm always in the Lord's sight. There are more ways to do his work than destruction. We can help you find it. We can probably even fix your bones. All right. I shall not resist. Thomas, you've made a wise choice. More importantly, you've made it for yourself. Awesome. I like making good decisions for once in my life. The suspect is surrendered. Take him into custody. Carefully. Yes, Doctor. Regis, that was amazing. Sense was going to be pissed, though. That was a huge risk. Screw Central. Come on, we've got work to do. The corpsman can handle it here. Yeah, with a little help from the bomb squad. Cool. That was... that was heavy. <laughs> so, Vanderwall finally agreed to cooperate? Yep. Said he could give us a head start on the Mindjacker. We'd better not keep the man waiting then. Alright, we'll call it here. And in the next episode, we'll keep going. Hope you guys have a great day. It's going to be an awesome, awesome day. Enjoy it. Like, subscribe, share, and do all that stuff. Donate on my Patreon. Buy me stuff. All that. All that. Have a great day. Bye-bye.